What are your thoughts on drama, movie clips, and the like in a church service? Um, my thoughts, my feelings. Um, I'll start with uh, the freedom that we have in Christ and then I'll move to the position that I operate in. Um, the New Testament isn't explicit on forbidding um, using a screen to put the lyrics up or to put the scene of a waterfall behind it or to make the waterfall actually move behind it or to show a picture of your fishing trip to illustrate the big fish that you caught and you should go out and now and be fishers of men. The Bible doesn't forbid it. I am concerned in my own life and I'll be gone in a few years and do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I believe profoundly in the power and the till Jesus comes validity of preaching. And by that I mean the, the spirit anointed exposition of the scripture through clear explanations and applications of what's there. There's something God appointed about that. I think the use of video and drama largely is a token of unbelief in the power of preaching. And I think that to the degree that pastors begin to supplement their preaching with this entertaining spice to help people stay with them and be moved and get helped, it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. It's going to communicate preaching is weak. Preaching doesn't save. Preaching doesn't hold entertainment. And we'll just go further and further. So we don't do video clips during the sermon. We don't, we don't do skits. Um, I went to a drama at our church uh, four days ago. I don't believe in drama. I believe in the power of drama. But let drama be drama. <laughs> let preaching be preaching. Let's have the arts in our churches, but don't try to squash it all into Sunday morning. So I get worked up about these things. That's where I am on that. Free, nobody's going to go to hell because of this in the short run. 